Good morning, everybody. Do I have a story for you? Uh, the story's not done. You guys are coming with me, but all night long, the dogs were going nuts, Lee Ski and Mojo. And first thing this morning, I got dressed. And I looked outside, see what the heck Lee Ski was barking at, and there was a coyote standing all the way down by that beehive. I know you guys probably can't see it with this GoPro, but that's about 150 yards. So I grabbed my trusty 308 and I popped that sucker. Well, it fell down for a minute and then it got up and kind of stumbled away so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the ranger and we're gonna go do some tracking um we got a whole bunch of baby goats we have not even been able to make a video yet we were actually going to make a video today and show you guys all these new baby goats we got i haven't even been in the barn to check yet uh Leesky was going absolutely crazy this morning and that's why i look out there he couldn't get to the coyote and the coyote was kind of testing him he was on the outside of the fence so uh we're gonna go see if I can find where I shot this thing and then if we can track the blood and then I'll show you guys the goats and we'll talk more about this whole story. And uh, like I said, I'm bringing you guys with me. I got my GoPro mount on right here just in case I am not able to, uh, chickens just jumped and scared me. Uh, just in case I'm not able to use this GoPro uh, by hand, I'll just mount it to me and bring you guys with me and we'll go see what we can't find. And hopefully none of the goats are harmed. I don't know because I have not checked yet. Okay, so when I seen this thing, it was standing right here at the corner somewhere. I don't know exactly where. I'm gonna have to get my angle and figure that out. But uh, I know I absolutely hit it. So that is where the tracking is gonna come in. First, I'm gonna try to find blood and then go from there. Good morning, pigs. All right, got my ladder set up. Let's get over this fence. Take a little peek around see if I can't just see that sucker. I don't see him. There. So it is very, very brushy in here. So I'm probably not going to record this whole thing. I'm going to put my eyes to the ground and uh, see if I can't see a track or some sign. Okay, so we're across the fence. Alright, here is a good sign. So, that's... Looks like it was a really good hit. So I want to see which direction he went from here. He didn't go very far at all. There he is. So he went like maybe 15 yards. All right, so we got it. It was actually a female. So uh, that's good. Take that chance of her having any babies anywhere near the farm when it's time for that um you know we don't like taking animals lives but anything that's a predator um, around our farm we have to do what we have to do and literally in the last couple days we've had nine baby goats born and i'll show you guys i'll probably grab the better camera here in a minute and i'll show you guys but we got mamas right now that are out and about having babies out here and we do not have a livestock guardian dog with them we can't put Leesky in here yet because we can't trust him 
with the baby goats just yet. So we've been locking them up every night. Well, last night we did not lock them up. We actually forgot. And uh, here's a mama that just had some babies, like just now. Let's go take a look at these new baby goats. Oh, you know, mama, come here. I'm not gonna get close. So we got two new babies right there. That is a Kiko mama. And then, so that's, that's 10 and 11. And then we got nine more in the barn. Um, like I said, I'll grab the better camera here in a little bit and we'll go take a look. But I'm pretty sure that coyote was getting a wolf of all the afterbirth and all the sense of all these mama goats having babies. And that's what brings them around. Um, a lot of times when you have livestock guardian dogs in with your goats when they're having babies, you'll notice the dogs will actually clean up all the afterbirth. They'll actually eat all that bad stuff because what it does is it leaves scents and uh, that stuff travels a long way and coyotes are pretty keen they have really good noses and uh, you can imagine all the scent and the blood and stuff that comes with the birth swirling through the air the coyotes are hungry right now it's starting to be fall time it's getting cold they're trying to eat and uh, get ready for winter put on some pounds so uh i am very very thankful i looked outside that back window this morning and seen that coyote standing there um i'm probably not going to show any more of it on video because it's kind of kind of messy and i don't want to get in trouble by youtube or nothing so anyways let me go grab the uh good camera and we'll come back out and show you guys the baby goats finally okay as promised we're coming back uh we are fast forwarding a couple hours i went in and had breakfast kind of had to do some other stuff uh got some a uh, couple ricks of firewood stacked up getting ready for winter time and now we're coming out here to check on these goats and the babies are dropping every day in the past i think four or five days we're up to 11 baby goats now um, so you can kind of imagine why the coyotes are coming around they're smelling all the scents of all these babies being born and they're trying to get them a fresh sack okay snack this mama right here i don't want to show too much of this but you can see she's uh she's fixing to drop a baby anytime i doubt you guys want to see that on camera but we might catch it on camera. I don't know if I'll film it or not, but she's uh, she is fixing to drop one any minute. So as I was saying, that is a big reason why these predators are coming around. And uh, just a little bit ago, I had to come out here because the buzzards were flying around. And what the buzzards are doing, I, I can't remember the proper name, but black buzzards or something like that. Um, I just seen this on a local news channel. Um, she's She's fixing to drop them black buzzards were coming in and pecking the eyeballs out of baby calves and sheep and stuff like that so i had to come out here and make sure they weren't attacking these newborn babies and she's fixing she's she's in labor right now guys she's she's gonna have a baby might as well film it right All right, we'll give her some space. Let's go look at some of these babies while she's, you guys know what a uh, birthing looks like. So we got, we got other mamas in here that is fixing to have babies anytime. This mama right here has some discharge as well. Here's some of the babies. So like I said, we got 11 right now. And there is Tawny. You guys remember Tawny? Tawny and one sock are twins. They're Kikos. And Tawny had two solid black babies. And the dad is L, and he's a white goat. So you tell me how that genetics and all that works when you got a white goat like this. Tawny is like a butterscotch color, caramel color. And they have solid black babies. That's just the awesome part of raising animals, especially goats. You just never know what colors you'll end up with. This little baby's getting some lunch. Everybody's doing wonderful. Um, so I said it was solid black, but one of these babies has a little brown belt across his waist. I don't know if the camera will pick up too, too well in here, but this is her baby from last year. She's grown into a really pretty little goat. You know little goats. You guys want to be on video? Huh? These are both girls. Tawny did awesome, had two little girls, healthy. <laughs> what kind of face are you making there? Huh? 
kind of face are you making? Oh, sorry, didn't mean to scare you. You want a close up? You want a close up? You just ran over your little sister. Which one of you has the belt? One of you has a brown belt around your waist. You can't see it right now. One sock, you're gonna have babies here pretty quick. So guys, talking about coyotes, look at this. She's missing the tip of her ear. Before we got her, she got her ear bit off by a coyote from her previous farm. Look, you see the perfect bite mark on her ear. Good job, Tony. You got some pretty babies. All right, let's go check out some more babies. And then uh, when we walk out of here, I bet we'll have some new ones on the ground in there. This Spanish goat, she had a single little uh, butterscotch colored baby. There's two babies right here. They're napping. Um, this little baby, this Spanish mama had twins. I was eating some lunch. One talk keeps following me around. That one is a solid black baby with a little white stripe on its head. And then here's some babies, a boy and a girl. That's another Spanish goat. Cute little, cute, the little bitty one right there, that's actually a boy on the left side. Look at his stripes on his back. That's pretty cool looking, right? And everybody's wanting to know about the hay feeder. Is it working? Seems to be working. You can see there's a little bit of waste. Um, we've had this hay feeder out here about four or five days now. That's not bad. You know, before it would just be covered already within a day or two. So it's not too bad. What do you think? You got some good grass in there? One salt. So there's a lot of uh, Ceriza Lespediza in here, and that is very good for natural dewormer for livestock. All right, so I think that's the one that's trying to have the babies. She's moving around a little bit, trying to find a good spot to have them. But she should be having them any minute. Then you got the quack pack over there underneath that little, I don't even know what that thing's called, but let's walk out here. Let's walk out here and check on the new babies. So, so far we're up to 11 babies. Um, and we've been very fortunate. Everyone has been healthy so far and the mamas have been having them pretty close to the barn except a couple days ago mama had them underneath the kids his little fort she had twins um caleb had a basketball game so as soon as we got back it was dark and we normally don't try to touch the kids you know within 24 hours or so of them being born if we got to you know assist for whatever reason reason being is once you get your scent on them sometimes the mamas will not accept them and then you got to make them bottle babies so we try to Leave it all natural for, you know, at least 24 hours. Don't be touching them and stuff. But in that instance, they were way too far close to the woods, away from the barn. And we knew the coyotes were prowling around almost every night. You can hear them really close. So we didn't want to take a chance. So what we did is we went and got those babies. And actually the mama had one baby in the barn. So I had to go back and get the one baby. She left it over there for whatever reason. And I got it back to the barn and joined with mama and locked them up for the night. So we didn't have to worry about nothing. So here is some Kiko babies, and I cannot tell. I'm not going to get close. This mama is very, uh, she's kind of skittish, you can see. But those babies have some awesome color, and that one there has some black polka dots. It looks like they both do. And normally that means they're a boy, but not always. Let's see if I can't get around here and get some better shots of them. Yeah, we got zoomed in now. But this mama, she's a really good mama. She has uh, a lot of milk. She's pretty protective usually. She always has twins. One year she had triplets, the first year that she kitted for us. And I can't tell if that's a boy or a girl. Man, I would love to have some girls this color. 
Like, oh, that'd be awesome. So, Mama, you need to work on getting your babies to the barn today sometime. I can't tell for sure if that's a boy or girl, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with them. It don't matter what it is. They look healthy. That is a girl. That is a little girl that is the one eating from her right now. So there's a good chance this one could be a girl. It looks about the same size, but uh, that's good. That's very good. Kind of just watch them. See if she'll get this other little baby up. I might try to pick it up just to make sure it's okay. And we just seen that one eating that's underneath mama. She's gonna she's gonna kiss around on her a little bit. Your baby okay, mama? Hmm. That one's eating. That one's eating good. Let's go ahead and get this one up just to see to make sure there's no complications or anything. Come here, baby. Oh Let's see. That is a girl too. So we got two girls. Alright, mama, I'll leave them alone. But you need to try to get up to the barn before evening time. Don't trust these coyotes. So you can kind of see all the other goats, you know, like to check out the, all the babies and see what's going on. So earlier when I got the coyote, it was right over there in the corner on the outside of the fence. And there's the dad to all these babies right there. That's L. But as you can see, the baby are all the babies are doing good. So that's that's 10, 11, and then whatever baby or babies that Spanish goat that we just seen has, that'll just add to the herd numbers. So um, I don't know if she'll have them anytime soon. Sometimes when you see them like that, they have them pretty quick, and sometimes it can take hours before they actually go into labor and drop them. So I don't know if that's her. Or she's up here. I'm gonna go look. Okay, just a little sneak peek. She's just right here around the corner and uh, she's already got it pretty much out, so I'm not gonna assist. And uh, I'm not gonna show anymore either because YouTube don't like that kind of stuff. So I'll show you guys once I, uh, once she actually gets it out and everything's good. But that was pretty quick. That was within five minutes of when I walked out here and first noticed that her uh, sack was hanging out. But it looks like it's, uh, it's uh, black in color, so I'm going to step back a little bit, let Mama do her thing. The baby, you guys can see that. If it grosses you out, I apologize, but this is farm life. You can see babies out of the sack, it's breathing, everything is good. I don't know if she has another one in there or not. I bet it's a single because she don't look that big, but you never know. So we'll kind of hang around and check that out for a little bit. Mama's doing a good job cleaning the baby up. It's a good sign. So she just had that one so far. I'm gonna walk off and leave her for a little bit. Don't wanna stress them out too much. That makes number 12 so far. I'll come out here in a little bit and I'll check again to see. Um, like I said, we got several mamas that look like they could be popping any time. They have been. Every day we've been having multiple births. One sock isn't that big, but she should be bred. Uh, don't know about her yet, we'll wait and see, but there was one other mama in here that had some discharge that could be any time. I'm guessing today, that's her right there on the right side of the hay bale. She's probably hanging around the barn and you can see everybody else is out grazing. Well, they're gone now. They're way off in the woods and that mama right there, I'm gonna have to check later and if she, doesn't bring her kids back up to the barn by the evening time, then we'll assist her and we'll bring them up. Make sure everybody's locked up in the barn at night and uh, safe away from the predators. Cause you guys seen the coyote. Luckily I was home today and off work and looked out the back window and was able to take care of that predator. Uh, coyotes can, a coyote like that could actually kill and eat all the babies it could they i mean there's no limit to them what they'll do is they'll kill one drag it off and eat it and then all the other coyotes follow it back and then they just wipe them all out 
And uh, well, I know a lot of people are going to be wondering why don't I put Leesky in there with him. Uh, Leesky is not 100% trained yet. He's still in the puppy stages. Although we have not seen any problems with him and newborn kids, from past experiences with livestock guarding dogs, a lot of times these dogs either get way too protective or they get way too curious. And sometimes they'll pick up babies and take them away from their mama and then it gets all confusing and all that. So if we can help it, we're gonna keep him separated from the mama goats for a while. Just kind of keep it as it is right now. Keep locking the mom mamas up at night. Um, I'm gonna go get Mojo here in a little bit and I'm gonna let him go in this pen. And what Mojo does is he'll go around the perimeter and mark his territory. And that way any other goats or dogs that come along will smell that and say, oh, there's a big dog over there. And, you know, normally that works good. But Leesky did an awesome job. Like I said, him and Mojo were actually barking all night long. And the whole reason I look out the back window, you can hear the pigs back there. They hear me out here, they're starving because uh, their feeder's empty. I've just been feeding them every day now instead of filling up their feeder that way. When it's time to load them in the trailer, it'll be a whole lot easier to do. Um, Leesky did an awesome job. He was barking this morning. He was standing at the corner of this pen right here. So that that coyote was probably, uh, I don't know, 50 to 60 yards away from Leesky whenever I actually uh, shot it. Leesky was barking and barking. I looked out the back window and I immediately seen that coyote. So I was like, wow, that's awesome. Uh, you know, that's, that's pretty much all you can ask for in a livestock guardian dog that cannot get out of their fence to go protect the goats. You know, he we're training him to stay in the fence. We don't want him to be a jumper. Um, we live not too far from a highway when we've actually lost dogs in the past for them getting out and chasing coyotes or whatever and getting on the highway and getting ran over. So we don't want to do that again. We want him to stay in where we want him and we want him to know that. But by him alertness, just by that coyote being out there, that is, uh, that's awesome, that's a good deal. And I have no doubt that if he was able to get to that coyote, he would have eliminated the threat himself. So uh, I'm gonna go rest for a little bit. I got a couple other things to do. Um, thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. Hopefully I don't have any more coyote or predator videos. I don't like doing those because that's always a threat to the goats. And if one coyote gets in here, it starts chasing the goats, you know, it's usually don't end very well. So uh, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Keep up with our baby kid goat count. Uh, you never know. I might make a new video tomorrow. We might have 20 kids on the ground. So we got 12 right now. I got to go back out and check on that mama here in a little bit and make sure they get back into the barn before dark. And uh, I'm glad I caught that coyote before it got a goat and made a snack out of one of them little kids because they're pretty defenseless right now. So like this video, leave us a comment, and we'll see you next time.